G'day guys, Greg here. Well, I just came back from the beach, went down there for an afternoon bike ride and walk up the beach and then for a swim, so my hair's still a bit wet. Well, I just had a shower when I got home, of course. So I'm nice and fresh and just ready to relax for the rest of the night doing what I do best, which is drink beer. And today's beer is sponsored by Tony Huang. Thank you very much for your beer fund donation, Tony. You're an absolute champion. And John Beggs, of course, man, he just, he's, his pockets are, they're very deep, let's just say that. And, and he, whatever, he just keeps pulling out money. And um, he, he said I should probably buy a few beers and everything. And uh, well, he gave me a list of ones, which I probably will do eventually. I actually went and had a look again. I went to a different bottle shop today to see if I could find the um, the uh, Newcastle Brown. You reckon it was there? Of course it wasn't. But uh, I went there on the way back from the doctors. I've, I've had a real dodgy shoulder lately and well, about 12 months and it's just really hurts a lot. So I can't sleep on this side or anything and well, when I go body surfing, like you throw your arm out to do that body surfing, and well, <laughs> you end up throwing yourself on the floor in agony because you, you, you just pull up really raw. And, oh, mate, so I've been throwing my other hand out uh, and then doing these little paddles with this one. Oh, even that hurts. Anyway, I went to a doctor, got x rays and uh, ultrasound, and I was expecting the worst, but it turns out that there's four tendons right in your shoulder here, like four big ones, and three of them are inflamed from an old injury. I'm pretty sure I know what it was from, is because at some stage in my life, being an idiot, and this is something uh, that uh, a life lesson for all those people out there. If you're overweight, don't try and do pull-ups because, mate, you're just, you're just going to damage yourself something chronic. Just stick to maybe push-ups or something because I was about 100 kilos and I decided I wanted to start doing pull-ups. I wanted to just get to 10, you know, to pull-ups. Anyway, eventually I got there. It took a while, just quietly. But then I started just going for my walk every day and doing pull-ups. And well, I actually injured this shoulder doing it. So if, you, if you're if you overweight, don't do pull-ups like I did. You'll just end up in pain. But uh, so anyway, because everywhere's closed, uh, he just faxed us straight to a physio and Medicare's paying for the physio. So now I've got, um, then I get a phone call from the physio. Oh. Oh, we've got appointments available now or in the next hour. I was like, sweet, mate, swing me in. So I went down to the Oasis at Broadbeach. There's a physio there. And um, what is it with physios, man? Like this physio place I go to, it used to be the hottest chick you've ever seen, physio working there. Oh, mate, I just make things. I'd make up injuries. Oh, yeah, I, um, uh, my, I've, I've got a twitch in my eye. Oh, come here then. <laughs> nah, I didn't do that. I thought about it, but I didn't do it. But then I went there again. There was this other physio, like male, super hot, like hot stud, real handsome looking guy. And then I go again today. They turn through physios these places. I don't know what it is with physios, but every time I go to a physio, there's a new one. This guy, he's like a six foot, Two, uh, like real Asian Chinese chiseled jawed huge chest like just super model looking guy I'm like what is it with physios do you have to like pass a modeling test or something to become a physio <laughs> I think you do because they're all like really spunky well the ones I go to are might just be a Gold Coast thing I haven't come across like a morbidly obese um, grandmother yet let's just say that but today, thanks to uh, Tony and John, I've got uh, this, oh, how do you even say it? A Wettinger beer. It's a German one. 
It's 4.7% uh, alcohol, this one. And it's a big 500 mil can, mate. Whew, imagine having one that big, eh? There's plenty of you guys out there that have got one. You lucky bastards. Mine's more like, uh, well, let's just say. Well, I've got the spaghetti here, but one strand, you know. I bought some spaghetti. I finally found some spaghetti in the shops for sale. In fact, I, was, I went to the Woolworths at, um, at the Broad Beach Oasis. Mate, there was so much cheap meat there. So I, I went and, I've already got way too much meat, but I went and bought some more because you can never have enough meat. Although, I have found that uh, I've been doing a few fish recipes lately and, and eating salmon, and well, my shoulders got feel so much better from eating, well, healthy food, <laughs> and uh, especially the salmon. In fact, I, I was so impressed by the omega-3s and the fattiness of that salmon that I went and bought this. It was on special. I think it was like $14 or something, reduced from 30 for this fish oil, 400 tablets. Mate, this is going to last me a year and a half. I'm sad I'll, I won't have to spend... I mean, this was, what, $14. That's two pieces of salmon. Mate, that's 400 days. That's seven fours, tw That's $2,800 worth of salmon. I bought it for 14 You see? And that's how you save money. Doing that sort of stuff. So I'm going to give the fish oil a go because apparently that helps in uh, reduction, reducing uh, swelling. I just hope it doesn't reduce that too much downstairs. Not that I use it. Yeah. Anyway, let's try this Oettinger beer. See what it's like. Oh, one of the greatest sounds in the world, that one, isn't it? I got my chilled glass. German beer, this one. The old Germans. Didn't they invent beer? I don't know, but they sure are good at making it. Don't mind the old German drops. There's a few uh, German beers in the supermarket. I mean, not in the supermarket, in the Dan's and whatever. That's uh, Hollandia, I think. That's a cheap one. Or is that Belgium? Anyway, it's imported and it's pretty cheap. And, um, well, it tastes good. But look at the colour of that. Hmm. That's a nice looking colour. It looks like the colour uh, of your piss, really, doesn't it? Well, that's if you're... Um, unhealthy. Apparently your urine, if it's a darker, means that you've you've got too much stuff in that your body's trying to expel. And if your urine's nice and clear, that means your body's just working real fine. Don't quote me on that. I'm not a doctor, you know. I've been to a few before, but I am male, so I only go like once every like three or four years. I figured, you know, I pay all this Medicare and I never even go to the doctors. I might as well just use it. I might as well use it up. Then they'll probably jack the fee up to like 3% from, used to be one and a half, and they jacked it up to two. Anyway, here's the, uh, the, the uh, wetting uh, pils. Oh, it's a pilsner. Oh, does that mean it's made with wheat? God, I don't know. Let me get my facts straight. Oh, where's my uh, phone? Oh yeah, I better get the uh, the phone app out and open it to uh, Untapped, the Untapped app, and type in the Oetinga. See what they say. See if it's got a, a good rating or not, and see if our uh, mine is about the same. Oeting. Come on. Oh, waiting your pills. Here we go. Right, uh, 4.7, yep, yep, yep. It's got a 2.78 star rating out of 5. Jeez. And does it have anything on here that says anything um, like, like, well, I would have thought it would have said something like hoppy or, well, it's made in Oettingen Bay in Germany. Anyway, it's Friday afternoon, mate. Who cares about that? Two point something seven. I'm sure I can give it a better score than that. Come on, come at me. It smells good. It smells like a 
like you've just walked past the pub and man, you've got that waft of beer. Mm, I love that smell. That's the smell I miss the most during this lockdown. Ah, beautiful. Oh, that's a nice full flavor. It's got a nice bite straight away. Ooh, mm, nice, it's a nice mix of molten, molten hops. Unless it's wheat beer, of course, and a, a great mix of wheat and and um, and malt. Unless it's not made with malt, it's made with something else. But <coughs> it's got a, a tartiness about it, that's for sure. When you when you're having a drink of it, it's sort of you know it's a bit rough around the edges, but that's all right. No, it's got that aftertaste, you know, that hoppy one. It's just sort of it's not a, offensive, but it's there. You can really taste it. Yeah, no, it's pretty smooth. Seems to go down all right. It's, uh, but that aftertaste of the hops really shines through. But it's got that real nice maltiness about it as well. I, I quite like this one. Mate, uh, you could definitely get smashed on these things. Holy cow. Definitely, this is probably a real cheap, nasty German beer too. But, mate, as far as beer goes, it tastes all right. <coughs> Something went wrong then. Found went down the wrong hole. Oh, <laughs> we all know that, don't we, fellas? But pretty nice. It's uh, definitely got that hoppy aftertaste. If you don't like those, that bite of the hops, you you probably might not like this one. But it's sweet enough as you're drinking it. Man, that's just a, a real classic beer taste, Alan. Like classic old school. I, I'm guessing classic German beer taste. I quite like it. It actually tastes pretty nice, I reckon. And for 500 ml cans, I think, I think they sell these for about 40 something bucks a carton. Or was it 55? You know, I think I saw them on special recently for $35 a carton, but I think that was the, uh, st the, the stubbies, uh, 330 mils. But still, full strength, three, you know, full strength beer, 35 bucks for the carton. That was pretty good, I thought. I didn't buy them because I'm not a real heavy beer drinker, but it's okay having one or two every now and then, or six, maybe ten. I don't know how you'd go having ten of these big cans, though. <laughs> well, I could, pretty easily. I probably, I, I, I'm guessing if I did, I'd wake up fully clothed, in bed, and uh, probably the wrong way around, and wondering how I got there. But uh, there's the Ottinger, pretty nice beer, this one, I quite like it. Mm. It's a big can too. Mate, this is per. I don't know why, like Australians, Australian beer making companies should make our beers this big, I reckon. I'm sure they've got a reason why they don't. And it's probably a lousy one. Has it got how many standard drinks per thing on here? I don't know, mate. It's all in German. It's all in German. Except for the bits that are in English. But oh, I can't even read that half the time. But, uh, oh, 1.9 standard drinks. So, you would definitely be getting hammered on these things if you, if you decided to have a go. But yeah, not a bad drop, that one. The old Lettinger. So, what am I going to do tonight? Oh, that's right. Um, my neighbours, uh, they said, Oh, at 6.40, the um, space station is going across in the sky. And I was like, oh, wow. Oh, yeah, we were going to go down the jetty and uh, see the space station go by. But there's actually some clouds have just come over. So I don't know if we'll be able to. It was hot today, it got up to 32 degrees, and um, it was a nice day, really nice. That's why I oh, decided to go for a bit of an afternoon swim, because, man, it was hot and just beautiful. Mm. I'm not sure what the weather's doing for the rest of the weekend, though. Let's see. Right. I, I love my weather. I'm a big weather man. 
I love seeing what the weather's doing. All right, well, uh, oh, this is looking pretty good. Mate, it's like 18 to 29, 18 to 29. So the nights are starting to get colder and the days are still beautiful. Ah, I love this time of the year, it's really nice. Anyway, that, I'm pretty sure I can hear my neighbor calling me because, well, it's time to take a six pack of something over there and, well, start getting on it, you know. And because it is Friday and, well, it's our start of the weekend for some people, not me. I've already got plans to make a video tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day and the next day. I don't have a day off, mate. I just make videos non-stop. I hope you're enjoying them because, you know, I put minutes of work into those. So, you know, they don't edit themselves, those videos. <laughs> I've got a down pat. Maybe I should make a video on how I edit my videos because I've got a down pat pretty well. Although you have to film it properly in the first place. Anyway, that's for another discussion. Uh, have a good weekend, fellas. Uh, I might be here tomorrow. Who knows? But uh, if I'm not, I'll see you next time. Bye.